Today I'm reviewing a Camus Street Sport 60mm LCD multifunction gauge from Windbooster. This product was sent to me by Windbooster and I do not have to send it back. I will give my honest opinion of the product as I've not been given any restrictions or requirements from the company on what to say. I will show how to install the gauge in an Elantra N and the functions of the gauge. However, this product can be installed in other vehicles equipped with an OBD2 port. A link to the product will be in the description below, along with a discount code for 15% off your next purchase. Inside the package, you'll receive the gauge, manual, a short wire to easily chain other gauges together, a longer wire, which is the primary wire to connect to the gauge, a remote control, and the OBD2 connector and box. The connector box has additional ports you can use to add additional sensors, which will allow you to monitor water temperature, air pressure, oil temperature, and oil pressure. These parameters cannot be monitored using the OBD2 port alone. I tried placing the gauge in several locations inside my car, but finally decided to install the gauge in the blank area to the left of the main gauge screen. To do this, I had to remove the glossy black plastic cover. I decided to remove the throttle controller I previously installed in that location and relocate it somewhere else. In my throttle controller video, I showed how I drilled a hole in the cover and dremeled a notch at the bottom to allow the wire to pass through the bottom of the piece. A link to that video will be in the description below. To remove the cover, take a thin plastic removal tool and go around the outside of the piece prying towards you. Be careful when prying up on this piece. If you want to hide the wire, you'll need to drill a hole to allow the wire to attach to the gauge from behind. I already had this step completed, so I moved on to how I was going to attach the gauge. Due to the depth of this section and how the plastic cover attaches to the dash, I decided not to cut a large hole and try to flush mount the gauge into the dash. Instead, I chose to attach the gauge using 3M double-sided tape. To do this, I cleaned the back of the gauge thoroughly with alcohol, then covered the back of the gauge with 3M tape. Also, I removed the gauge's base since I would not be using it to attach to the dash. Once you have the 3M tape installed, run the longer wire that came with the gauge through the hole, then attach it to the gauge and attach the gauge to the dash piece. I then used electrical tape to secure the wire to the back of the dash piece. Before I installed the gauge, I had my wife wrap the dash piece in gloss black vinyl to hide the white circle printed on the dash piece. Now that the gauge has been mounted, you're ready to install it in the car. Run the long wire through the steering wheel column. Then reattach the dash piece. Begin attaching the piece closest to the digital gauge screen and work your way toward the driver's door, pushing gently until the piece snaps back into place. After you have the gauge installed, you can move under the dash to attach the OBD2 port, the gauge's long wire, and control box. I attached the long gauge wire to the control box first. Next, I connected the OBD2 connector to the car's OBD2 port. Finally, using zip ties, I zip tied the wires under the dash. I used the main wire bundle that is coming from the engine into the car as an anchor for the wires and control box. After you've got all the wires cleaned up, the installation is completed. One of the nice features of this gauge is the OBD2 connector has a pass-through feature, which allows it to connect to diagnostic readers or piggyback tuning options, such as a JB4, without having to disconnect the gauge. I tried this feature out on my wife's car that has a JB4 installed on it. Everything worked perfectly, both the gauge and JB4. I was excited to check out the gauge after the install was completed. The process was easy and fun to do. When I finally turned on the car, the gauge didn't disappoint. The screen was clear and colorful and made the blank area of the dash look complete. The gauge comes with several different screens to choose from, but the default screen matched my interior perfectly right out of the box. The amount of features this little gauge has is pretty extensive. I will try to cover the majority of what it can do. The screen is not a touchscreen, so you will need to use the supplied remote control. The sensors for the remote are located on the bottom of the gauge. By pressing the left and right arrows on the remote, you can toggle through the four different screen styles. Pressing the up or down arrows will toggle through all 13 different gauges that can be displayed. 
Those gauges include RPM, water temperature, turbo, exhaust temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, intake air temperature, air fuel ratio, battery voltage, G values, TPS, speed, and intake pressure. For some of the readings to be displayed, you'll need to purchase a separate sensor. The following require a separate sensor. Turbo pressure, water temperature, oil pressure, oil temperature, and G value. Each sensor can be purchased from WinBooster at the time of purchasing the gauge. To make changes to the gauge, you'll need to press the setup button on the remote. Then, use the arrows to access the different buttons available in the settings. The escape button will allow you to exit out of the screen. The first option is system, which allows you to change settings such as language, screen brightness, or screen orientation. Screen orientation allows you to reverse the screen and mount the gauge upside down. Next is parameters, which allows you to cycle through the different gauges. Then dash which allows you to change the layout of the screen to display one or two gauges at a time. If you select two, you can choose between two gauges with pointers or one gauge with a pointer and one in bar format. When two gauges are being displayed, you can use the up on the remote to change the top gauge and down on the remote to change the bottom gauge. The pointer setting allows you to change the color of the gauge's pointer. The alarm setting allows you to set an alarm when the gauge reaches a certain value. Racing will allow you to see your different 0 to 60 times. DTC will allow you to clear engine codes. And finally, Turbo will allow you to set how you want to view the turbo value. I think the gauge looks great in the car, and I would recommend it to anyone wanting to add something that not only looks great, but adds function to their car. I like the location of the gauge and how it gives a finished look to my dash. Also, the gauge's screen is super crisp, which makes it easy to read. If you're looking to add a gauge to your car, such as a boost gauge, the Camus 60mm multi-gauge is an easy product to recommend. If you're looking for a single function gauge or several gauges to install in a gauge pod, Win Boost gauges have you covered. Please check out all their other gauges that they offer. Thank you again to WinBoost for sending me this product for review. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more content.